He has a huge responsibility to be the last one. I'm not going to say we leave the last for, late, for last, because we had a great uh, panel and great speakers. But uh, he is obviously a, a super boss. He, at, because he's coming from the Spanish television, I'm going to introduce him the official way, like a TV presenter from here. So, when we talk about the digital transformation of, of the audiovisual sector, the typical answer that we get is, but we are already digital. But digital transformation is not just a change in technology. It is, in fact, a change pr process that occurs in business models, in the consumer relationship, in the management of social networks, and, of course, in the processes of an organization in, or in order to adapt them to this new paradigm. Well, it means be agile and low cost in the startup model. To tell us about the different opportunities that is, exist for startups in this sector, we have with us the best possible speaker on the subject. With a PhD in economics, he held various positions in the economic and commercial fields in the Spanish administration. Now he's the director general at RTVE Corporation, which is the public broadcasting company in Spain. Please, let's give a warm welcome to a last speaker of this playground stage of South Summit 2016, Enrique Alejo. Welcome, Enrique. Thank you. Me pongo ahí. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Elena, for your presentation. And um, well, as the last speaker, uh, probably you have uh, so many ideas in your head. I will try to shorten my presentation, which is about uh, how the digital transformation is uh, changing our industry. You know, RTV, it's a, it's a legacy company. We have 60 years. This same year, this same month of October, will uh, be 60 years old in the part of television. In the radio, we are older than that. And we are witnesses, really, a transformation of our industry that is uh, changing the way we produce content, the, change, the way we transmit the content and present it to the audience. No? We are uh, confronting, as I said, a changing landscape, which is very challenging for, for everybody, for all the operators, but especially for us. No? What, what are the really uh, um, disruptions that it's uh, witnessing this, is this industry? I would say, first of all, microeconomics. This is the economic crisis as has affected all the companies, all the industries, but also the uh, broadcasting industry, the media industry especially the technology, the consumer behavior, the regulatory aspects, and also the demographics, especially the uh, growing middle class, the millennials, and the, um, the world pop uh, population, which is aging. All these aspects will be treated in my presentation to you this morning. Um, I don't know. But to summarize all, uh, I would say that the new game of television, it's been impacted by three forces. First of all, the consumers, which are changing the behavior, the demands, the experiences, uh, the business, how we conduct the business, how we operate in this industry, changing the way we present the services, changing the business model of revenue, changing the value of uh, the, the value change, and also the technology, which is changing the way the, the, the content is distributed, how the networks operate, and how the devices are being used by the consumers. We'll, we'll say that we have to start the countdown of the model that we have witnessed in the, in the past years. And we, are, we can say that the traditional model, uh, media model, will no longer exist. In a matter of, would say, 20 or even less than 10 years, we'll see a different landscape that we have right now. Then we can say that the industry needs a new business model. This business model has, should be constructed in, in four different areas. First, a business model which is based in, well, we live in an ecosystem. We have a uh, different perspective from where the position, especially for us in RTV, we, we used to be a monopoly at the beginning of our existence, and right now we are competing, and we have to change the way we compete. 
Second is the technology, as I mentioned before. It's where we have a legacy technology and a proprietary mindset, and we have to, to transfer our mind to cloud an open position in the technology landscape. How we operate, it's very important to be agile. It's very important to put emphasis in CapEx, not uh, in OPEX, not in CapEx, and to improve the service quality of our company. And the last but not least, the organization. We have to change the way the organization works. We have to transfer from an uh, organization which is very hierarchical to a more uh, um, flat organization in which the competencies and responsibilities are widespread within the organization. That means that we have to change from the physical to the digital world. We have to change from the one platform to many platforms. We have to change to um, people who are not responsible, who are more uh, depending on others and being directed by the bosses to a, an organization which is more responsible uh, and reorganized. We have to also change uh, the technology which is being in silos, which is being separated to a technology which is um, designed in a networking fa uh, fashion. And we have to rely also very much on the data, which is a way to connect with the audience and with the public. This has changed where the value comes from in our industry. We have to re review the value drivers of, uh, of uh, all the companies operating in the market, the, the sources of revenue, the sources of cost, and the capital allocated, we have to change the entire uh, system. We see, for instance, these examples and how different companies are trying to monetize the position in the online ecosystem from the advertise-supported uh, mechanism, which is more traditional, but with no companies like Ulu, YouTube, Crackle, etc., to the subscription base and advertise supported mechanism like Amazon, Netflix, CBS, All Access, to the transaction base and free uh, system of monetization like the iTunes Store, Google Play, etc. The uh, revenue uh, models are changing. We have um, distinct, well understood, a very well separated system. Uh, advertising, subscription, public funding, which were separated, and now we have overlapping and evolving uh, revenue models, which is, can be, at the same time, being used by the different operators. We have advertising, subscription, content licensing, public funding. All of them are being used, probably not public funding, but all of them are being used by the, by the different companies participating in our market. And then we have seeing also that the revenue models depend very much on, this, on, the, uh, on the vertical in which our companies are placed, in the entertainment, in the publishing, online, broadcasting, advertising, and gaming. These uh, many industry participants have different positions in the market and have different revenue models. Um, but in, to sum it up, I would say that we have to change the mindset of the operators in the company in three different areas. First of all, we have to change the uh, digital governance of our company, especially in our companies like ours that have many, many years. The digital governance will change the way we think and organize our mentality. We have to engage digitally with the with all the consumers, all the audience, and we have to organize the whole company in an iterative transformation roadmap in which we are going to start in, in RTVE in the near future. Well, but in fact, the center of all it all is the consumer, is the audience. And we have to uh, place the audience at the center because they have many choices, they will change from the multiple platforms that they have right now, to uh, many devices that will come in the future. And we have to uh, adapt ourselves to the expectation that they have, to how they re really react and uh, 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 realize that the content and the propaganda are inside all the content, how people are also participating and creating content by themselves, and how they expect the, cu the curation will be the, 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 
instead of the traditional programming, the way to, to access content in the future. This is in, in summing how the content and how the digital media has been affected by, I would say, the millennials, the adoption of new technology, especially mobile technology, the penetration of the broadband, and how the middle classes are growing in the world. And, uh, well, some statistics about that, for instance, we see that in, uh, in the major markets, 25% of consumers are 14 years or, or older. We compare with the uh, more uh, traditional markets like the European or American market. The growth in the use of uh, smartphones, 2,300%. The number of broadband connections, 2 billion. And the number of uh, uh, households that have an income of 10,000 uh, dollars plus in the world, which has been increased recently very much. Well, the consumer behavior is, well, like um, producing some type of positioning by the companies from linear to on-demand, content creator or social networking, and different companies are um, positioning themselves in, the, in this landscape. And uh, obviously, this is totally a world of disruption, and it's also disrupting the way the supply chain function in our companies. This uh, disruption has been uh, proposed by the IP, which is coming very fast to the way we produce our content. The use of the cloud, which has been extended in many other areas, but especially is coming also to the broadcasting sector. The, the, uh, obviously, as I mentioned before, the consumption changing, the experience uh, evolving, the broadcasting, the appearance of new employers and new players, and new money. This uh, is changing the ecosystem, and we have to really realize how um, the appearance of different companies is changing and disrupting the media, um, uh, the digital media value change. We see the business process is also being changed, not, so, not only the, pro the production process, and the uh, digital media supply, but also the business process, as I mentioned before. And all this is open opportunities for new companies to appear in the market, as we see. There is an appearance of many different operators that nev never would think about Walmart being present, or iHeart, or Pandora, or Webo, or different companies present, in this case, in the listening uh, world market. But also in the, in the watching TV, there is an appearance of different companies. And nevertheless, 72% of the company uh, of the market is uh, allocated right now to traditional companies like CBS, Fox, ABC, BBC, NBC in the American market and in the European market, the traditional companies like BBC, RTV, etc., in all different markets. But there is a new whole array of new companies like Vice, for instance, or Bad Feed, which are very, uh, very um, growing very fast. This is also another um, situation which is growing. Uh, very fast, which is the appearance of web video by native creators, which is producing short content and um, uh, reaching a, a massive audience. You can see, for instance, Pew, uh, Die Pi, which is uh, reaching 10 million, uh, Lele Pons, which is reaching 7, etc. But let's talk about technology. In fact, I would say that more than in the history, our industry of broadcast is a technological industry. And there is three technology trends that are very important to the uh, changing landscape. First of all, analytics and data. Uh, second, mobile and social. And third, the industrialization of the, of the media industry in which uh, all the process can be, uh, don't need to have a big investment and is uh, easily accessible. You can see that these three areas are important for technology. First of all, is content, uh, managing the content. Second is managing the business. And third is managing the content uh, and the experience of the users. In all these areas, for instance, in managing content, ingest, uh, index, search, convert, transform, deliver, all these areas of the traditional media are really important 
for the new uh, companies to access and very accessible. In the digital media, in the business ma management also, the rights management, the monetization, the business intelligence, there are many companies that can access this new, uh, this new arena. And uh, managing the experience, attracting new, new customers or engaging or, or retaining the audience, they are also uh, areas for improvement and areas for new companies to really access our market. Which are the areas in which there's more investment in recent years uh, in the technology field in, uh, in media and entertainment? First of all is the multi-platform the del content delivery, which is, uh, well, uh, there is an obviously a need for the consumer to really improve the, 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 capab uh, the capabilities of access. IP networking that I mentioned before, it's been, it's gonna be transformed. 4K or HD, in even uh, HK is coming. The file-based ba uh, file operation, the cloud, etc. These are the, the areas in which there's gonna be big investments in two or three years. And this is changing uh, the structure of technology from a structural point of view. There's no like past transition. There's um, a change uh, uh, through uh, a specialized application and especially uh, equipment. And well, obviously the consumer, as I said, is at the center. And that would mean there is more dynamic content, more participation of the audience, an alternative message, which are the important um, uh, elements of this new way of consuming uh, media and entertainment. We were going through the, uh, the cable model from the broadcaster model and reaching the new digital model of accessing content. This content, which is not so easy, people think the content is very easy to produce, but you will see to reach an idea which is an, a success in content, we have to start with idea sourcing of 180 pitches to uh, arrive to one success, which is a two or three years journey that make very difficult to really have a content which is, uh, is gonna be a success. This content that has been more and more produced in, uh, in, in digital mood, and it's been probably uh, been transformed or going to be, be transformed by the use of the algorithm. And, um, well, we have to really take into account that this content has to be digital, not merely a transference from analog to digital, and has to be um, distributed and also it's going to be changed the way in which we consume it. We, we never download, we uh, see it in the streaming. And I will talk lastly about the innovation. But in fact, I've been talking about the innovation all the time because obviously this transformation, digital transformation of the industry is going to produce the capacity of new uh, commerce to, attract, to be attracted to the market and to enter the market without any doubt. And we have to really realize in which market we are, which is the new ecosystem. We have to rethink the way we organize our companies and, and w we have to really absorb from the market new ideas and to, uh, to bring it to the audience as soon as possible. Because innovation happens in devices, in network, in services, because innovation creates uh, competitive markets, new economic models, new content, new alternative, a new offer uh, to the audience. And causes is causing, as I said, many changes in the, uh, in the industry. Uh, it's a revolution that cannot be stopped, in fact. We can see innovation in the different areas. We can see innovation in the, in the, in the internal part of the company, like creative firm, uh, general administration, financial management, internal communication. We are trying to put this innovation also in RTV in place. We have innovation in production and, and pre-production. We have innovation in the product itself, in the user of experience uh, by the audience, and in the way we communicate and we relation ourselves with the whole ecosystem. We have innovation in the whole aspect of the value chain. We have innovation in the creation, and we have in this slide some ideas and some 
uh, examples of how independent creators, for instance, are producing music, casual content, etc. We have also in the, in the aggregation, in the distribution, in the consumption, etc., and obviously in the advertising, nevertheless, as a public company, LTV, don't have the advertisement part. No? And we have a transformation in the future, in the future years to come. In six years, we'll see many different, but probably the more important thing will be the personalization and the uh, contextualization of the content. Uh, but we'll see in other areas like the uh, co-creation, personalized advertising, etc. There's a lot of things coming in our industry. But uh, that will need some people would have different capacities, different skills, especially two different areas, technical and business. We need technical people, technical talent to change the whole um, way we operate. And we need business professionals that have able to really transfer to the market and transfer to the, to the audience as soon as possible the technical aspects. And that will leave us to RTV and um, our uh, openness uh, to, the, uh, to the ideas and the world in general and our participation in the uh, media landscape and the ecosystem. We have launched, we launched last year, it's been presented yesterday, Impulsa Vision RTV. This is um, an accelerator, an incubator of companies that produce uh, an immense wealth of, uh, uh, of uh, resources for RTV because we have the opportunity to be in contact with these small companies that are changing the industry, that are able to really uh, um, transfer these ideas, their, their, their enthusiasm, their, their force, their strength to our company. And also we are uh, giving to them also all our ideas, all our expertise, all our legacy, all the professionals that we have in RTV, which are able to really with their experience, with their interest in these small and medium companies, to really produce a, a combined, very uh, useful result for all of us. And we launched last year the, the first edition, and I'm very honored and proud to present to you the, um, the, the call for the second uh, initiative, what we call is Impulsa Vision. It's a call for a start company, a startup companies that are in the media field, in the media and entertainment field, which want to collaborate and spend like nine months collaborating with professionals and people from RTV and uh, have support, not only economical, but especially mentoring support for our great professionals. And I will leave you right now with a presentation with this second call for the Impulsa Vision 2017. Thank you very much. ¿Tienes un proyecto innovador y tu sector es el audiovisual? Nosotros te damos la oportunidad de ponerlo en marcha a través de Impulsa Visión, la aceleradora de Startup de RTV. Una iniciativa de apoyo al emprendimiento destinada a autónomos y micropymes de reciente creación con ideas prácticas e innovadoras. Aquí encontrarás las respuestas a todas las preguntas que debes hacerte para formar parte de Impulsa Visión RTV. Cómo y cuándo inscribirte, qué tipo de proyecto estamos buscando y lo más importante, qué te puede aportar RTV con su respaldo y 60 años de experiencia. Si resultas seleccionado, recibirás financiación, espacios, recursos de trabajo, apoyo y formación para acelerar y promocionar tu startup. El plazo para inscribirte y presentar el proyecto empieza el 7 de octubre y finaliza el 12 de diciembre de 2016. ¿A qué esperas para impulsar tu proyecto? Thank you Enrique. Thank you Enrique Alejo. Well, we couldn't have a better uh, speaker to close up this stage and South Summit 2016 with a fantastic news for this new uh, second uh, um, Impulsa Vision uh, project. Starting today, as we close, you can already start sending your proposals to Impulsa Vision uh, RTVE. 
thank you to Enrique Alejo for, for having the responsibility and, uh, and doing such a great job being the last speaker of this uh, South Summit 2016. Just one more thing. Apparently today is the International Day of Smiling. So, please everybody, smile. It's free and it's lovely. Thank you everyone and see you South Summit 2017. Thank you.